This is Deltina Hay, author of the Bootstrapper's Guide to the Mobile Web. And in this session, I'm going to talk to you about mobile optimized landing pages. You're going to want to use a mobile optimized landing page for any type of marketing campaign that targets mobile device users or mobile devices specifically. These could include AdWord campaigns that target mobile devices, mobile app ad campaigns, if you're placing ads within mobile apps, QR code campaigns, location-based marketing campaigns, and if you're not certain what QR codes are or location-based marketing, you can look those up or you can go to the bootstrappersguide.com and learn more about those. Now, many of you are familiar with landing page best practices, but I'm just going to go ahead and run through some of the probably the most important points of a good landing page, one that is going to give you maximum conversion rates. First of all, a landing page should be relevant to why the user has landed on that page. So you want to be sending users to a landing page that's very relevant to the page that they originated at. You want to get to the point very quickly. You only have a few seconds to convert. Use large links or buttons to make your calls to action very clear. Again, you're not going to have much time to catch their attention and to make that conversion. You want to avoid scrolling. Keep most of your content, or preferably all of your content, above the fold. And then require very little of the user. Um, shorten your forms, any forms that they need to fill out, and minimize clicks. Okay, now, in addition to those sort of general best practices for landing pages, you want to follow some very specific mobile guidelines for landing pages. The pages should load very quickly and have very few images. You want to keep the page short. The fold is very small for mobile devices. Make your calls to action mobile friendly. So use things like SMS, which is text messaging, click to call, and those types of mobile features. And then also, outgoing links should go to mobile friendly pages only. The last thing you want to do is to target mobile device users, have them come to a landing page that's mobile friendly, and then ultimately have them link out to a page that they're not even going to be able to view properly. There are many ways you can create a mobile optimized landing page. You can use HTML5 or, or regular HTML. You can use a template, or you can use a service. Now visit the bootstrappersguide.com for a list of services as well as many additional landing page resources. Now we're not affiliated with any of these services. We've just gathered together a whole lot of resources to help you with your mobile web presence. Now this is the page you're going to want to be looking for on the Bootstrappers Guide. It'll have a list of some good articles on creating landing pages as well as a whole bunch of services that you can use to create a mobile optimized landing page. But in this session, we're going to specifically talk about using Google Sites to create your mobile optimized landing page. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, here we are on the Google Sites mobile templates page. And here's the URL that will take you there. Now what this does is offer you a number of templates that you can use to create either a full-size mobile website or just a simple landing page like we're going to be talking about in this session. So you have a number of different templates as well as different colors. You can kind of click on these colors to get an idea of one that might be a good fit for you. But there's also a number of different templates here. For instance, if we just if you just click on try this template, you can get a closer look of a template. You don't have to actually commit to it. So let's click on that. And then this will show you how this template looks, and you can kind of try and envision it with your content on there. Now, if this is a restaurant, then you're going to want to be doing things like uh, placing coupons, uh, including a menu, uh, having a map with directions, as well as perhaps a telephone number. And remember, this is going to be click to call, and this is all kind of built in to this template, which is one of the reasons why I'm showing you this. this is a quick, easy way for you to be able to include some of those mobile features uh, very easily and very affordably because Google Sites is actually free. Okay, so here would be a place for you for the logo and maybe some product information. And so that's what the restaurant template looks like. And then we have a local business template 
which is similar except that you have kind of an, an interactive map here, a click to call feature, and then some some information about your business. There's the lead generation template which is really more about sending them to a place to subscribe or or find out more information. Now one of the things that you need to be careful about when you're doing templates like this or when you're doing any sort of mobile optimized landing page is that when you have something like a subscribe button or you're taking them to another site with more information you want to make certain that wherever you're sending them or whatever function you're sending them to is also mobile optimized and so if you're sending them to a form on a landing page that encourages them to subscribe to a newsletter you want to make certain that that form is very simple and performs well on mobile devices so you'll want to test it before you launch your campaign okay so there's also this social template which allows you to put your logo up there some information about your company and then some links to like Google Plus and Facebook Twitter or YouTube some of the uh, more popular social media sites out there. and then there's the e-commerce template that's the one we're gonna take a look at today and then finally is a custom template where you can just kind of pop this open and have a lot of room to sort of do your own thing within the Google Sites platform. Now let's go back to e-commerce for our example. First I'm going to select my color and then click on try this template. First of all you want to make certain that you're logged into Google for this next step. Go up here and click on use template and now it's going to bring you to a place where you can give your Google site a name and then also a URL. So the name doesn't necessarily have to be the same as the URL. And then click create. So now we're taken to the template and from here we can do things like upload the logo, uh, put our own product information in here, our price, the name of the product, call to action, promotion, etc. Now one thing you want to be careful about when creating a landing page, especially a mobile optimized landing page, is not to clutter the page up with too much text. You need to assume that people have come to this landing page because they're already interested in what you have to offer. So conversion needs to be the first thing on your mind. So you want to keep things sparse as far as text, uh, keep very few images on here, and make certain that the buttons for your calls to action are really clear. So if you want people to call you, you would certainly want to have your phone number here. And in this case, it's going to be a click to call because it, this is a mobile optimized template. And this is one way to be able to get those types of mobile features is to use a service that already has them built in. And then you want to make certain that your main call to action, your buy down button or your checkout button is large so that people can see it easily and act on it. And so if you need any other type of information, if you want to provide some additional details about the product or customer reviews, it is a good idea to have links to those types of things instead of trying to put the text on the page itself. But make certain that these only link to mobile optimized or mobile ready pages. You don't want to send people away from a mobile optimized landing page to a page that isn't going to display properly on the mobile device. Okay now to populate the template we have instructions up here we can go to more actions manage site site layout to actually change the logo right here. We can change our product photo, our price, our product information etc. So to change the logo I'm going to go over here to more and then click on manage site. Now the instructions say to go down to site layout but I want to show you a couple things on this opening page first. You are definitely going to want to put a site description in here. I'm not going to take the time to do that here but you want to make certain that you do that for uh, placement value. And you have some other options here that you can fill out but the things that I wanted to show you is first of all you can use your Google Analytics code here if you want to actually keep track of statistics on this site or you can also manage it within your Google Webmaster tools so those are a couple of nice features that Google Sites offers but the main thing I want to show you here is that you want to click this automatically adjust site to mobile phones because we're creating a mobile optimized landing page we want to make certain that 
our page adjusts to mobile phones if people are accessing it that way. So now let's go ahead down to site layout. Now here is where we can upload a logo by clicking on change logo. You want to go ahead and browse on your computer to find your logo file. Okay, and once you find your file, click on OK. And you can preview it from here as well. So we can take a look at what our logo is going to look like. When you're finished, go ahead and click Save. And then go back to your site from here. Okay, so now we have a logo up here. And now I want to focus on this area down in here. First of all, I want to show you a few more of the features over here uh, under the More tab. You can look at uh, revision information. You can look at page settings. You can choose to show the page title or not on your site, which would be this right here, which says Home, or you might have some other options for you know, sub-pages on a regular site. But we don't want that to show up on our landing page. And there are a few other things that we can include on uh, Google Sites, but we're actually not going to do that on this site. So some of the uh, other options under here are Preview Pages Viewer. And here's how we can really get a good look at what the site's going to look like to the viewer. And then there are some other options like AdSense and Sharing and Help, etc. Okay, but now what I want to do is go to Edit the Page. And we do that by clicking this button right here. So from here we can really customize our page to our own needs. For instance, we can change our text up here. We can put our own price in. And then we can do our include a call to action or promo. Now this is something that is going to let your visitors know that they're getting a great deal if they purchase it now or from this particular landing page. Now I'm going to change this area right down in here to only include more information on the book. And so if I click on that, you see that I have, there's a link here. I can change that link. And I do want to change that. And I also want to change the text. Now we can format this image here and change the link on it and so forth. Or we can just remove it and add our own. If we click on insert over here, we can see that we can insert images and links and all sorts of different things. In this case, I want to insert an image. But I want to insert it from a web URL this time so you can see how this works. I have a document open down here that actually has links to some of the content that I want to add to this page. Now remember that when you are optimizing your site, you always want to make certain that you have alternate text for images because they may not show up on mobile devices. It's also just a good practice in general. Sometimes when you add images on these templates, you may need to readjust them and make certain that they go back into the center. And I did that by clicking right here, but I also could have highlighted it and clicked center right up here. Okay, so now we have our logo on the top of the page and our book image and the name of the book and the price, our call to action or a promotion, our little learn more about the book link. And now I need to make a decision as to whether or not I want these particular buttons right here. First of all, I know right off the bat that I don't want the click to call button on here. So I'm just going to delete it. The other thing I know that I want to change on this site is that I don't want to use Google Checkout. Instead, I want to use PayPal. So I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to go up here to insert again. Remember I showed you you could insert all different types of things. One of the things that you can insert is an HTML box. And so you can put straight HTML in here or you can input uh, short forms and so forth. So opening up my document, I can copy the form information for my PayPal button and place it within this HTML box and click on Save. Now again, you notice how it moved it over here to the left. We're just going to recenter that. Okay, so once we save it, now we can get a look at what our mobile optimized landing page is going to look like on a mobile device. We can also go up here and click on Preview Pages Viewer, and that's going to give us a better idea of what it's going to look like. I hope this has given you a good introduction to mobile optimized landing pages and also how to use Google Sites to create either landing pages or entire mobile websites for that matter. And please stop by the bootstrappersguide.com where you'll find tons of resources that can help you with your mobile web presence. 
and please check out the new book, The Bootstrapper's Guide to the Mobile Web.